Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lynn and if you are new, um, it does say Lynn and Chris, but my husband, he is currently on deployment as of right now. And if you have seen our previous videos, uh, me and Chris are expecting our first baby, a baby girl. Um, I'm gonna show you a updated belly bump later. Um, I am currently 24 weeks as of right now. Um, I got a hot chocolate grande with, um, with caramel drizzle on top. It's just to give it, I know hot chocolate is already sweet enough, but I don't know why. I just like the caramel drizzle on top. I'm thinking it's the pregnancy hormones or just pregnancy just in general. <laughs> And so, uh, what I have been wanting to make this video is just because with my husband, Chris, being on deployment, um, you know, I haven't really seen any videos on YouTube that really kind of like explains what most military um, spouses kind of go through. I mean, I'm not saying like it's, you know, a bad thing. Um, I'm really grateful he's in the military, you know. And it's just, I guess, it being me and Chris' first baby, you know, and she is healthy, by the way. I mean, I kind of want to start off kind of like a pregnancy baby type video, I guess you can say. But it's just more of like, I want to basically show, not show everything, but kind of like a skim like off the top type deal of what I'm going through personally just because I mean I have seen some videos where you know like it's their second or third child or maybe it is their first child um, being in the military you know the husband comes home to surprise during delivery you know I have seen those videos you know especially on the news of course they need their spotlight I don't know if I should be getting napkins for this or <laughs> tissue paper just in case I cry uh, this makeup off but uh, by the way before I do start this video or I know it's already a long beginning but I kind of just I don't know I just wanted to speak my mind you know and this is gonna be a total different type of video just because I'm just gonna be talking you know um, I really want to see other people or I really want to connect with other people that have been in my situation or is going through my situation as well. Um, it's just because, I mean, I do have my friends that are here, of course. They are my neighbors and things like that. And, you know, I'm not completely doing this alone pregnancy wise, you know, um, they are always checking up on me. even. Like my family members, they always check up on me and, you know, I guess it's just mentally, you know, just knowing that he is across seas, you know, it's just, it's a little, it's a little hard, but, um, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> um, but yes, before we start, make sure you follow our, or follow my personal Instagram if you want to see updated belly bumps things like that. I will put it on the screen um, In the middle or on the side something you'll see it on the screen Okay, so I'm gonna take a sip of this hot chocolate because I feel like I am getting out of breath <laughs> First thing first make sure you definitely subscribe to our channel uh, to be following my pregnancy uh, vlogs or pregnancy videos update videos type things um, if you have seen our gender reveal, uh, video, at the end of the video, we did announce what we were going to name our, what we are naming our baby girl. Um, I'm going to put it on the screen. It's going to be Everly Rose Tran. And I just feel like, um, I feel like Everly was a beautiful, meaningful name. It's just because we, me and Chris, we went through a little rough patch. Not marriage-wise, but <laughs> we went through a little rough patch last year after our wedding. And I feel like we, when Chris gets back from deployment, me and him will probably talk about that 
a little more into detail. It's nothing super, super like, you know, really, really bad, rough situation, but it happens. And so I feel like when I found out I was pregnant, um, I feel like she is the beginning of our happy ever after type chapter. I'm trying not to cry, <laughs> but remember I am pregnant. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just felt like Everly felt right when me and Chris found out she was gonna be a girl. <laughs> and, you know, me and Chris, even though in the gender reveal video, you know, I kinda already said it. I was like, I know, I think it's a girl, or I knew it was a girl. But, you know, I know Chris wanted a boy first, but no worries. I'm pretty sure as long he, he just wants a healthy baby. And that's all I wanted as well. And so she's healthy now. Um, just a heads up. I do have my 24 week appointment coming up on Thursday. And so I get to see baby girl. And I'm going to say baby girl a lot just because. I don't know, it's just hitting me <laughs> that our first child's gonna be a baby girl. And so I just love saying baby girl. So if you hear that a lot, I'm sorry, but being our first child and everything, I'm very super excited about that. But yes, so we will be checking up on her on that, on the 24 week appointment, which I kind of want to be recording that um recording that appointment or at least give y'all update after the appointment as well so that's why i kind of want to put this video out there ahead of time and um but yeah let's just i just kind of just want to be sipping on my hot chocolate and just kind of talk to y'all about how i'm feeling i guess um being 24 weeks pregnant uh, I, on some apps, it says that she's the size of a cantaloupe, and then some apps say that she is the size of a, not a melon, but kind of like the smaller melon, I guess you can say. I'm trying to check my baby app and make sure. <laughs> um, well, yeah, one app says that she is the size of grapes or a bunch of grapes. As you can see, um, but she's getting pretty big. Uh, so as of right now, what I can tell is um, when I eat sweets, which after this hot chocolate, she will be kicking like a ninja. So it's usually when I eat sweets or before I'm about to go to sleep. Like, you know, usually when I'm laying down after I showered and brushed my teeth and all of that and I'm watching TV or playing on my iPad, in bed, she's kicking. Um, another thing I notice is that she is active a lot in the mornings. Usually when Chris uh, FaceTimes me every morning, usually around 7 in the morning, 7 to 9. I, I don't know if it's just because she knows, okay, mom, you need to eat breakfast, or she hears her daddy's voice, Chris, on um, iPad. I don't know if it's either the or type deal, or I don't know. Like, it's always, it's always like that. Like, ever since she started kicking at, I felt her kicks, I think, at 19 weeks. I feel like I did, or maybe even earlier, I did. Like, it was that butterfly effect. Butterfly, the quickening, kicking type feeling. And, you know, it's just, it's so surreal, basically. It's just, it's so crazy that, you know, that she's kicking. Like, it's so much kicking. And I cannot imagine when she gets bigger or full grown when she gets bigger. And is she really, really, like alien kick me or you know like kick me in the ribs and stuff like that i don't know if i'm ready but um i have noticed that usually she will start moving around or being a little more active when i am close to needing to pee 
I don't know if that's like a trigger thing. Like she just needs to tell me like, mom, go pee. <laughs> so she'll kick until I let loose, <laughs> basically. And you know, it's just those little moments. It's so memorable. Like I have recorded so many videos. You can ask Chris. I have recorded, so even my little sister Dana, I have recorded so many videos of her like kicking, like you can see like little kicks um, on my belly and it's, I'm just so happy. It's so crazy. Um, so that's how Everly's doing. For me, uh, honestly, physically, I'm gonna go physically and emotionally. Physically, my back hurts. <laughs> Like, it is usually my middle, like, the middle where you kind of have that curved, cur curve, curve, curvage? <laughs> where you have that curve of your spine when you're pregnant and you have that belly. It's mainly from the middle and down is, it's, there are some days where I would have knots and it would get so bad to where I would have to get my heating massager and, like, massage it out and it's so crazy because sometimes it's so uncomfortable and things like that and i'm pretty sure everybody goes through this back pain and everything and um yeah physically i would have to say the only thing that's been kind of irking my nerves is just the back pain just because um you know i don't know if it's because i'm smaller or you know because i'm 410 and or 411 I'm under five foot let's just say that and so the pregnancy is kind of taking a little more toll on me <laughs> um, and another thing is is that uh, I haven't really noticed anything else that has been like worrying just the back pain as of right now thank God but uh, emotionally I have to say it I am happy, I'm blessed, I'm grateful, trust me, believe that. But there are days where I wish Chris was home, you know. Um, me and Chris, him being on deployment, me and him, we do FaceTime every day. You know, he checks up on me every day. You know, we text each other every day. And with the time zone, it's completely different. You know, I'm pretty sure all other military spouses, y'all know how I'm feeling or what I'm going through as well, you know, and it's just like, but, you know, I'm not complaining. I mean, you know, I knew what I signed up for when I married him, you know, military spouses, they all knew what they signed up for. And it's just kind of like, just him being over there, it's, I know he's safe. He's, you know, he's always calling me every day and, you know, talking to Everly in the belly and you know it's just it's just sometimes there are days where I just wish he was home you know and you know he's taking care of himself over there and I'm just worrying about me myself and baby girl and I'm worrying about my boys Timo and Taro you know and I'm glad that Timo and Taro are here you know my boys if you aren't following their Instagram, make sure you go follow their Instagram. I'm going to plug it in real quick. Go follow them. It's at Timo and Taro, the core, or under slash, under, underscore, the Corgis. Um, I'm glad that they here. They are here because they keep my schedule going. You know, they keep me going, you know, throughout the day. Like, even though I work, um, you know, on weekdays, they still keep me, like, going like after work like when I clock out and things like that you know I try to make sure I maintain you know just walking the boys you know making sure like feeding them things like that and I feel like if I was in this house alone I would be so bored I feel like I would be freaking like shopping like crazy every day probably but excuse me um but yeah emotionally i would have to say there are some days but not every day though i think just every day knowing that she's growing healthier and healthier and you know just kicking and just being her it makes me appreciate him being on deployment you know just 
because he gets to work on himself. He gets to, you know, like make money <laughs> basically. And, you know, it's just like not many people can say that. I don't know. I'm trying not to cry at the same time. <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of like saying I don't know because I don't want to to cry on here. But <sighs> um, but I do have my girlfriends here. You know, they do check up on me all the time, which I really do appreciate. And even like my family you know, my mom, my siblings, you know, and my aunts and all of them, they do check up on me. And I appreciate that a lot because it's the thought that counts. Even though they're not here physically, I know that they would be here if they could be. But, you know, it's so crazy how much you do need your family support through pregnancy, through anything, honestly. And, you know, just... I know that baby girl is going to be loved by a lot of people. I do have to say that. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. And I don't even have tissue paper out here. I mean, I'm going to try to drink this call. I mean, this uh, hot chocolate and try not to get emotional. But, um... But yeah, I kind of wanted to just come on here and just talk to y'all. Like, I just wanted to tell y'all that I want to start some pregnancy updated vlogs or updated videos. Because, you know, a lot of people were surprised when we announced that we're pregnant. And then a lot of people were surprised when they found out the gender. <laughs> just like me and Chris, we were very surprised. Um, but, you know, I just... I kind of want to look back on these videos, you know, just like our wedding video, our uh, gender reveal video, and, you know, just vlogs with friends, family, you know, it's like things that, you know, I want to look back on. Or when Everly grows up, I want her to look back on and see how, how things have changed or how we've all, like, you know, just things like that. So I guess most likely, you know, even if I don't get, like, the communication that I kind of want, you know, I want communication with other people who's going through the same situation as me or, you know, who are pregnant as of right now. They may not be in my military situation, but, you know, may know how I feel. Things like that. We could help each other out type deal. And, you know, I have so many girlfriends that, you know, they have been supporting me and just, I just love them, you know, and... They're giving me so much advice dealing with, you know, like newborns, things like that. And I appreciate it so much. And, you know, I just wanted to come on here and just basically tell y'all that, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to cry. It's hard. I have to admit, just pregnancy and then... Or not just pregnancy, but I guess just knowing that your husband is across the country, it's it's hard. But I know with my family behind me, my friends behind me, my girlfriends, you know, just... And then Timon Taro here, things like that. You know, I'm really, I'm really grateful for the position I'm in. I'm really happy that, you know... My little sister Dana, she always calls me every day, make sure I'm good, you know, things like that. And they, my little siblings, they always keep me going. And, you know, Chris, he keeps me going as much as he can just because time difference wise, you know, it's morning here and night over there, night over there, morning here. So it's, it's hard, but honestly, it's easy. Or it gets easier. It's not easy. But it gets easier because this is me and my husband's third deployment. And I know I should have explained this a little bit earlier. <laughs> but yes, this is our third deployment together. And the first one, first deployment, it was 
a little complicating because we were younger and I didn't know, you know, that was his first deployment. He was living life and um, second deployment, uh, he came home and I moved over here to Florida and I started my life, you know, here in Florida with Chris and it's just, this why, that's why I like this third deployment isn't taking a toll on me. The only thing is, is that um, my due date is September 9th with Everly and um, he won't be able to come back on time. So um, I'm praying as long as he just comes home safe to me and Everly, that's all that matters. Oh, try not to cry, sorry. Um, but yeah, I feel like as long our baby girl is healthy and chunky with rolls. Cause I am not trying to eat all healthy too much. <laughs> Cause I want rolls to come out on her. And you know, as long as she's healthy and, and he comes home safe, that's all that matters. And um, but, uh, but like I said, I mean, my family, they're always here, you know, or not here physically, but, you know, my mom and my siblings and, you know, my older brother, son, he, you know, we're all like trying to do or plan out, you know, plans for the next few months. So I'm hoping that'll be in the pregnancy vlogs too. But I know as long as I have, as long as they have my back, that's, that's all I need. And you know, Chris knows that I'm okay, that we're both okay. Me and Everly, we're okay. And you know, I just wanted to come on here. <laughs> Said that like a million times. <laughs> but okay, so I think that's all I kind of wanted to say for now. I feel like I don't want this video to be super, super long. Kind of like a quick rundown. I already explained how Everly's doing, how I'm doing emotionally, physically. Um, but Chris, he's he's doing great. You know, he is over there every day, busy. 12 hour shifts, just. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My little sister. She's FaceTiming me while she's on break. But. <laughs> but. Okay. Hold on, Dana. Okay. Or. Well, actually. Call me back. I'll call you back. Uh, I feel so unknown. So <laughs> call you back. <laughs> So, for example, my little sister, she calls me on her lunch break. And so, you know, we always keep each other entertained. And, you know, it's just... Um, but yeah, so I think that's all I wanted to say as of right now. I feel like I'm getting more and more comfortable, you know, just being pregnant. <laughs> and I feel like if you are going through the same situation as me or if you want to talk to anybody or you know just anything dealing with I don't know <laughs> just if you're in my position or if you're going to be in my position or you know just husband being on deployment you know just comment down below I will definitely answer back and you know I just feel like mommy to mommy we can help each other out <laughs> even though i don't know anything but i do have some girlfriends that are new mommies and are mommies as of right now so um, and so yeah okay so let me show y'all a, a baby bump update real quick let me see if i can get the camera Ugh. So I have a mirror that's out here. 
Oh, that lighting though. Okay. All right, so I do have a mirror out here. Here is the belly bump update as of right now. And there's Timo and Tara. <laughs> Every time I'm always trying to do a OOTD, they're always photo bombing, huh, baby? That's how I will. Trying to show off your poof, huh, baby? But yeah, here is the belly oh. update update as of right now. So I am 24 weeks, so she is getting there. She's getting a little bit bigger and bigger every day, which I'm grateful for. <laughs> Timo, are you gonna say hi? You gonna say hi to the vlog? Or to the video? Say hi, YouTube. How handsome. <laughs> How handsome. Mm. <laughs> I am closing out this video with a sip of hot chocolate with caramel drizzle on top. <laughs> And um, make sure you subscribe to me and Chris' channel and make sure you follow all of our social media, Team Montaro's. Um, yeah, Team Montaro's Instagram, I'll put it on the screen. And then my personal Instagram, I'll put it on the screen. You'll get a lot of updates of Baby Bump and things like that. Uh, also, yeah, make sure you hit that like and or that like button and make sure you turn on your post notification bell or on our post notification bell so you know when I upload another baby pregnancy vlog video type deal and I just want y'all to join our baby adventure basically just you know with Chris being on deployment and me kind of doing at this solo but I do have a good support team of course always um you know just come on this little vlog and video and join our family so until next time so i will see y'all later bye